It's a great day. Having prophets today, how do you feel? I feel happy mm -hmm. um, because um, my dream, what I have been aiming at, has finally come true. So it's a great day and I'm very happy. Very, very happy for that mother. It shows that you are indeed very happy. Uh, what is going to be your role in the church? Like now you are prophets. What is going to be your role in the church? My role is um, after this celebration, I'm going to be sent for mission. So my, this, for this time, my mission will be in Kunkujang, Mariama. And I'll be engaged in teaching in the school and then teaching the young ones in the church like catechism, missionary childhood, friends of Marie Rivier, and joy, um, being with the young people, choir trying to help them, the youth group, and also the Marie Rivier associate, the women. That's very good. Uh, who are the people, I'm sure, up, reaching up to the stage, who are the people you want to appreciate today? You know, who really helped you to make this day a great day? First of all, I want to thank God and thank my parents because through them I can say um, salvation, God's salvation has um, come to, into my life. I also want to thank those who have helped me during my formation, especially my formation mistress, um, Sister Marie Baji. She did very well because we know that um, it's not easy to um, teach somebody who is old, you know, somebody who has already been trained at home in a different way and bringing that person into, um, helping that person, changing her life is very, very difficult. But I thank God for her because through her today, um, life has turned into something else. Now, Sister Harriet, what do you want to tell the young people? Like, young people your age, what would you like to tell them? What other encouragement you would like to give them? Uh, my, my words of encouragement to the young people is that when they feel the call of God, there is nothing to be afraid of. Let them go. Sometimes, some of them will say, um, I cannot close myself inside. Looking at religious life, it's not closing yourself. Because, um, to me, I go out anytime. I go out. More, I go out even more than um, staying in the convent. But sometimes, if you tell them, they said, if you, even they have the call, but they always give excuses. Let them go and see. Don't um, don't hesitate and don't listen to what people are telling you. Go yourself and see. If you are convinced that that is what God wants of you, and also my advice to them is that let them not leave anybody to decide for them. Because if they have to, to marry and they have to let their father decide for them, their mother decide for them, tomorrow they will not be happy because that is not their choice. That is not what they wanted. So if religious life is what they wanted, let their parents not decide for them, nor their friend or anybody else. Let them take up the step and go and see. When they go and see what I'm saying today, they will see it. They will be happy as they wish. Sahare, thank you very much. We are indeed happy and we are wishing you a happy religious life and pray that God will continue to bless you. You are stay blessed and be beautiful. Thank you. Sister Anna, today is indeed a great day for you. After being professed today, how do you feel? For me, I am filled with joy because my dreams have been fulfilled. What I'm aiming at in life has been fulfilled. And I am very happy for it because I am able to fulfill my dreams. Um, now that you are prophets, now that you are prophets, what is going to be your role in, in the church? How are you going to serve God's people? I am going to be sent for mission in Serokunda community. And I'm working 
in St. Kitts Dodge Paris. For me, I'm going to be involved in teaching at the nursery school, our own nursery school, River Nursery, and teaching catechism in the church, working with the missionary childhood, and also with the youths in the parish. And this is the way you are going to serve the church? Yes. Beautiful. Now, for you to reach this stage today, there are people you would like to appreciate. And who are those people? My first thank goes to God, who have been joining me up to this day. And I also remember my parents, who have recognized this call of God in my life, and we are able to accept it. I also remember all those who are helping me, who, are, who have been helping me in, in my formation, especially my novice mistress, Sister Marie, for joining with me. Uh, now, what is the message you have for young people? There are some people, they are afraid to make the step. Uh, what, what, what would you like to tell them? Uh, my message to the young people is that when they feel the call of God in their